back to my channel it's Christy here to do the weekly reading for the sign of cancer sun moon and rising if you don't know your moon and rising sign there's a link in the description box where you can find your whole birth chart and that way for additional information for the week you can always look at your moon and rising sign readings on top of your sun sign reading today so this is for cancer for the week of August 22nd to August 29th. I'll be using the Wisdom of the Oracle Tarot for a three card spread today using the bottom of the deck card for general energy. We're looking at a central issue or you this week, influences around that or cause, and then a probable outcome card. And as always, drawing additional message cards from the Healing with the Angels Tarot and the Medicine Card Tarot. So I'm asking, what does your sign need to know this week? Whatever is most prominent in your life, Cancer, please apply these messages too, and hopefully you find them helpful and healing. If they don't apply to you, disregard them. And try your moon and sign, sun sign, sorry, ascendant sign readings and say if they are a little bit more helpful information-wise. So what does Cancer need to know? So we have a big pile there. Let's get one more jumper. <laughs> okay, we have another pile there. Let's get one more jumper. All right, so we have two. I am going to take them. They flipped up together, so let's go for it. All right, let's get a general idea of what's going on with regard to the culminative spread here with all the cards together, and then I'll look at them one by one, beginning with your overall energy in just a second. Okay, so I'm just going to consider this card that came out with the probable outcome card sort of a, um, an influence on this. So generally speaking, what's going on in all the cards here is you're feeling really good, really fine, um, putting plans into action, doing everything with a lot of heart and feeling connected to something greater than yourself. That's probably the most succinct summary <laughs> for this reading. Really beautiful, honestly. And I've been seeing, well, I've been doing these on, on camera since April and I've been really seeing uh, a great deal of energy around this type of flow, like really feeling positive about re things, really taking uh, chances, you know, these um, calculated risks, if you will, but doing them from the heart, doing from from a place of wellness and um, and peace and joy. So that's what I'm seeing continuing for you this week. So fantastic. Let's look at the Truth Be Told card. This is actually one of my favorite cards out of the deck. Um, we're looking at taking a mask off. So this is general energy for the week. No, the masks are off, the gloves are off. You're not lying to yourself. You're not lying to anybody else. You think that truth is king. I would happen to agree with you. It also, it, it, what it gets you, even if there are people who don't um, like it, even if the truth hurts, which most often it does, what telling the truth and living a truthful life really does is it garners respect. And respect, a lot of people think, has to stem from fear. And uh, a lot of tyrants <laughs> work this way, right? We think that we have to go about living our lives truthfully and with love, um, because it's, sorry, we have, we think we have to go through life, 
um, going along, going along to get along and not being truthful. And that's supposed to get us respect because we just agree with everybody. But I think you're seeing through that this week or just in general, I think you'd rather be disliked. I mean, as an extreme uh, in favor of telling the truth, because you know that it's where the heart lies and you know that even if someone doesn't like you after you tell the truth, you're going to have the respect. And it's a different kind of respect than having someone fear you. And I think this is what you're up against this week. Obviously, listen, if people are wearing a mask or if people can't take it off for whatever reason, that is a type of fear. That means they can't face something or they can't be honest with something for whatever reason. Um, it's not yours to figure out. It, just know that y you're beyond that especially energy wise here, you're beyond that. You're not going to deal with situations in an untruthful or dishonest way because I think you have more respect for the truth and you're ultimately more interested in getting respect for telling the truth. You don't have, you don't have to have people like you, which is a really <laughs> beautiful, um, position emotionally and mentally to be in. I don't see you causing anyone harm, which, um, would say, well, nobody likes me because I'm causing them harm. Well, that's automatically a negative thing, but that's not what's going on here. If people don't like you, if people don't agree with you, or um, if people are avoiding you or whatever, um, it's because they respect that you're telling the truth. They can't hate you for this. All right, so I will leave that there. What position are you in for the week? You are poised, my dear Cancer. There is absolutely nothing. Barring something crashing around you, and I don't see that, um, nothing's going to bring you down. Nothing's going to upset you. You are feeling on top of things. You have a plan. You know what to do. You know when to do it. You know how to do it. You know why you're doing it. This is a beautiful energy to be in cancer. It's a really well thought out, well prepared and well examined outlook. It's just a really nice way to begin anything. You know that no matter what comes your way or what you bring into the world, it's going to be positive and it deserves positivity. What has led you to this position or what are the causes or influences of being in this present situation? It's absolutely being in the present. There are different ways to read this card, of course, um, exchanging gifts. You're exchanging ideologies, you're exchanging knowledge, you're exchanging um, compliments, you're exchanging ideas know-how, um, uh, outcomes, but ultimately what I see going on with regard, especially in this three card, um, we're looking at a present situation and what caused it. We're looking at literally being in the present, in the present. <laughs> and it sounds kind of dull, right? It sounds like, yeah, yeah, it's not hard or, um, yeah, being in the present, it can really help, but it's not important as knowing everything or it's not as important as having all the equipment, etc., cetera, or um, having people like you, as it were. I think you see, like I said, you're seeing beyond something here. There's something far more important than being liked for the sake of being liked or being included for the sake of being included, etc. And this is what has led you here. It's actually a Skill, to be able to live in the moment, be and plan in the moment. And essentially success really does, you know, future success has everything to do with what's going on right here and now. And you have either mastered this or are in the process of mastering this. This isn't the first time I've seen this type of energy around what's going on. Like I said, um, for you cancer, I feel that you're really paying a lot of attention to how you feel in the moment and how and, and when it's good or when that's positive, how to expand on that because that's really important to you. And in your probable outcome card, you have building blocks. You are not stopping, my dear Cancer. You are not stopping. This is only one phase. Look, present situation, you're building on it. You're building these skills. You're building these themes, these ideas, these roles, these truths. The, even if it's about truth telling and you need experience doing it or you need to feel more confident doing it, that's what's happening here. Um, and you're emboldened. So in terms of building blocks, building on what you've already achieved or building more of what you've already achieved or have become prosperous for, 
prosperous for yourself is a higher power. This is where I see that you're connected with something larger than yourself. And it's also probably why you are emboldened to tell the truth and it's more important for you to tell the truth. Like I said, people who tell the truth are very rarely the most popular people um, or the most liked people. I just don't see that being important for you. Not that you want to be disliked or not that you're trying to tick people off. That's not what it's about. That's not what it's about, right? This is with love. This is about taking off a mask and doing it with love. Um, so congratulations. This is actually a really bold position to take. And I know that um, you know there's something bigger uh, that you're working toward or that you're compelled by or that you're drawn to or that even that supports you this week, Cancer. Um, so if you do have that feeling around this situation or theme, in your life this week, continue it because it's a beautiful state. Another way to frame the higher power card is of course grace. You can just feel like there's a sense of grace in your life. There is maybe even, I'm trying not to say this term, but I guess there is a sense of truth to a sense of a higher calling. Maybe you feel as though you are supposed to be doing something or supposed to be manifesting something or part of a bigger picture here. Um, even if it makes you a little uncomfortable or if it makes someone else around you uncomfortable, again, it's not done with malice. It's not done with uh, ill intent. Um, so I do think because of that, it's not only going to be accepted eventually, but uh, you'll get respect either way, right? People can't ignore that. People, I mean, you have to respect people who tell the truth, even if, even if it hurts. I'm going to take these two. These two jumped out as additional information. We have the guardian angel and ideas and inspiration. And no joke, this, this really is about like ideologies, belief systems, ideas in general, and inspiration with a capital I, my friend. You are inspired and you are inspiring. This goes both ways this week. So uh, keep that energy high, keep that mask off, uh, make it more important to be respected for telling the truth than for just going along to get along. And the guardian angel, of course, shows up when you are being protected or when you need or desire extra protection. So reach out this week if that's the case. If you find this daunting or if you find that there's... Um, you're second guessing, taking the high road here for whatever reason, just call upon um, a sense of faith or a guardian angel or even a descendant. If there's an ancestor of yours that you are drawn to or that you've asked for help with in the past, ask for help at this time. Uh, but just know that you're being watched over and know that this is a very, um, I, would, I would say blessed, but there's a sense of being blessed here and, and of being uh, um you're taken care of. You're you're being cared for, okay? On a on a um, esoteric level, on a non-tira, on a spiritual level here. And then, like I said, ideas and inspiration. This also leads to a feeling, right? Your ideas um, lead to beliefs, and your beliefs lead to the way you feel. So, I really see you taking charge of this. You and being in the moment with it. So you're putting your ideas and inspiration into action treating the present moment as though it is the golden moment, which it is, and then everything out after that, all things after that are a result of the planning and the uh, work that you're doing right here and right now. Like I said, with being poised, like you are taking action, you feel really faithful and really confident about it. So stay in that zone. In your final card is the Badger. I'm a little surprised to see this, but not entirely. This is the card of aggression. Now, aggression can be very, very positive depending on how it's used and in what situation. It can also tear people to shreds and really gain or gather a lot of enemies. And I'm just going back here for a moment. I think if you, I think you can be kind in telling the truth. I think that you can be supportive and compassionate in telling the truth. Really watch that you're not trying to tear people up with it. Or uh, if it does upset somebody that you are there to comfort them um, in a fair and loving way. 
But remember that aggression can be used to your advantage. Just make sure that it's not cutting people to shreds <laughs> or not uh, overshadowing the actual content of what's being delivered, right? Um, maybe try to keep a sense of humor this week. Try to... Uh, and, and if this is coming into your life, for example, if someone or people are being aggressive with you, stand your ground. Don't let that happen. Um, take the high road here. Uh, but certainly if you're exhibiting this type of attitude this week, maybe inject a little bit of humor into it and uh, see where that gets you instead. Because you don't want to lose friends over telling the truth either. There is a kind and gentle way to do that. Uh, but definitely stick up for yourself. Don't let anyone um, cut you to ribbons with their words. So Cancer, that concludes your reading. If you have a second, let me know how it works out for you this week or if it made sense to you or what, what appeals to you about it. And if you're not already, subscribe to my channel because I upload videos for your sign every single week. So until we meet next time, take good care, Cancer. Bye for now.